The K-Series from Kawai is one of the most versatile piano lines on the market. Today, we will be looking at three of the five models and how they were crafted with the future in mind. Stay with us. Hi, Patrick Marr with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. Find us online at alamomusic.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channels, sign up for notifications, like our videos, and leave us some comments because we love to interact with you guys. Today, I'm really excited to show you the K-Series from Kawai. Um, we've kind of picked, hand-selected a couple models the, uh, out of the K-Series. Um, we didn't pick the most expensive, we didn't pick the cheapest, we kind of stuck to the middle. So we have the K200 right here, we have the K300 um, with a little bit of technology on it. Um, and then we have the K500. Um, so we kind of wanted to show an overview of the most popular models that we carry um, and also uh, some options. As you see here, the mahogany finishes is, is an option that you can get on the different models. Um, you can also add technology, the RS system, to any of these models here. First off, what's the, what's the biggest difference that you guys see is the height difference. So the K200 right here is 45 inches um, high. Uh, this one is 48 inches, and this one is going to be 51 inches, the K500. Um, and so uh, what does size have to do with the sound of the piano? Um, it really uh, is the amplification tool, um, the soundboard. So if you see the back of the piano, we'll show you some pictures here. Um, the back of your piano right there, the unfinished looking product, which is your soundboard, um, is where all your, all your speaker volume comes from. So the more spruce you have back there, um, the more amplification you have, that spruce is actually vibrating, um, and that's where your when the string gets struck, um, the sound wave gets passed to the soundboard. Um, with that soundboard, you hear the music you're playing. So the, the best place for an upright piano, the reason you don't see them in the middle of a room, I know we uh, uh, have them right here in the middle of our room, but um, the reason you see them up against the wall primarily is because that unfinished back is projecting off the wall and back towards the player. Um, so really important to make sure that these are located in the right spot um, so that you can hear um, exactly what the upright piano should be playing back to you. Um, the K200 here, 45 inches, um, it's about 22 and a half inches in depth. Um, so it's the most narrow profile of the three. Um, it also, uh, so the biggest difference between uh, the K200 and the K15, which we don't have here, um, and the rest of the line, is these are actually made in Indonesia. So they come at a price point a little bit more affordable, um, but have very similar, uh, similar build structure. They, they use uh, the same spruce, they use the same action, um, the Millennium 3 action. Um, so you get a lot of bang for your buck in this, in this lower, smaller piano, um, the lower price, smaller piano. Um, the K300, K500, uh, there are some upgrades. So right off the bat, if you saw on, on some of those back pictures we showed you, um, back posts. So the, the actual structural um, design of these pianos, there's gonna be one extra one on both uh, anything above the K200. So um, on the K200, you get four back posts um, kind of securing it together. It just gets more sturdy and they add a different one. Uh, so it gets five on, on the, uh, the bigger models. Um, you also uh, get uh, a little bit of duplex scaling on the upper register of the K500. Um, and so that's just for harmonics, overtones, you get a little bit more uh, bright dynamic range in the K500. So the K500 does have that key lock. Um, if that's important to you to, to have the keys covered at all times um, when not being played, um, it does have that lock. If there's kids in the house or if you're at a music studio and prefer to have it um, not accessible. Um, that's only on the K500 and above. Um, the key tops as well are gonna be different on, on these models, the K300 and K200. Um, it's gonna be an acrylic key top. When you move up to the K500 and above, you do get that Neotex um, feel. So the Neotex um, is, is what the, the material they use on their grand pianos, the GX series. Um, that Neotex feel, just, it's a little more uh, of an ivory simulate. Um, so uh, just a really nice texture. That's something I'd recommend trying out if you haven't. Um, and then I want to talk about the technology you can add to these pianos. Today we have the K300 Aris system, um, and we'll show you kind of a close-up of that. Um, but it, it's completely a control system on your left cheek block, where you can turn that instrument into strings. You can turn it into an organ. Um, just adds technology to your already acoustic instrument. Kind of marries um, acoustic and digital in a really cool form. Uh, we have a whole video on that, so if that interests you, please check it out. It's the K300 Aris video. Um, 
but just a really cool option, and that's available on the K500, it's available on the K200, so if that's something that sparks your interest, I would definitely recommend it. Uh, and then one last thing, if mobility is a concern of yours, if you want to be able to move this upright around, if you're, again, if you're in a music studio, if you're in the classroom, um, or at home, if you want to have this be a little bit more mobile, um, both the, K, or the K300 and, and above is going to have that double brass caster wheel. Um, and so that just makes it a lot easier to move around, whereas the K200 and below is going to have a single caster wheel, um, which just makes it a little bit more difficult to move around. So enough talking, enough hearing from me. Um, let's hear from these beautiful instruments. We're going to compare them all. You let us know what you guys think. Leave some comments. And try to see if you can hear the difference between uh, when you move up in size. So you, when you get a bigger piano, do you get a bigger sound? Um, it's definitely something the player hears when you're here in the store. Um, hopefully it translates over video. Um, but let us know what you guys think, and uh, we're going to play them for you right now.
What an amazing group of instruments. I hope you enjoyed listening to those as much as I enjoyed playing them. Um, the K200, the K300, and the K500 again. Um, this is the K series from Kawhi. I really am a strong believer that this is one of the most versatile lines of piano. Um, there is the K15, which isn't videoed here, which we have a video on as well, and the K800, which is the flagship, most expensive, all the bells and whistles. Um, but this is kind of the meat of the line again. Um, the, the three most popular models. You can get it in beautiful finishes. You can add technology to them. Um, and you really get a whole bunch of different offerings at each level along the way. So let us know what you guys think. Um, leave us some comments again. Um, if you haven't, please subscribe to our YouTube channels. We're Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. Come say hi if you're ever down here. And find us online at alamomusic.com. We have a lot of interesting articles, some new content up there. Um, and if you have any questions, please reach out to us. We have someone on chat whenever you guys need to ask any musical questions. Um, or reach out to us in the comments down below, um, and we'll make sure to respond to you. Thank you guys for watching.